My name is Alex Cecilia. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a ski hat in Photoshop. So what I've done here is I've drawn um, a head shape so that you can get an idea for uh, what the, the, the size of your head that you're going to draw the hat on. Um, and then I'm going to actually add a new layer in my layers panel. And if you don't know how to get your layers panel up on the screen, just go to Window and Layers right here. And mine is checked, but yours may not be. So um, make sure that you've got it selected. And this uh, panel here will show up. And so the f what you're going to do is um, pretend I didn't create that layer and go down and um, add, create a new layer. And this is right next to the trash can, so um, you, can't, you can't miss it. It looks like a sticky notepad. And you've got another layer. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my paintbrush. And that's on my toolbar. Okay, so the ski hat usually has, oh yeah, and then make sure your brush is a little bit bigger than one. Um, I'm going to use three. So I'm going to first draw the brim of this hat. And then I actually am going to start off by drawing the top. And then drawing the sides. And sometimes these have like a little um, cotton balls on them. If I ever owned one of these hats, I would definitely want those cotton balls on there. So, And then usually one on the top. Or it can look kind of like this too. But I'm actually going to draw it the other way. And the easiest way to draw something that looks like a bunny tail or that's made of cotton, uh, you can just make little um, shapes like, like the rim on the inside so that it looks like it's kind of puffy. And then you can. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you do from here, but I'm going to draw a little brim. And if you'd like to add some color, um, you can always, uh, oh yeah, the back of the hat, you can always draw two if you want. Um, I'm not really interested in drawing the back though. Um, so if you are interested in coloring it, with the head, um, you can always uh, add another layer and then whatever color you want, you know, um, make your brush a little bigger and then you can just like start coloring it in. And then if you, you know, decide you don't want to color in the lines, you can always erase it like that. And sometimes, um, it may not work in this particular case, but sometimes you can draw it on top of it or on the bottom, it doesn't really matter. And then you can do um, create a clipping mask. And in this case, it did it around the head. But if I did above um, above the hat and did create clipping mask, it'll actually oh, it'll change my line color. But if you did it the other way around, um, yeah. So then what I did was uh, I I took the hat lines and put them above the color. And you can create a clipping mask if you want only the part that's filled in. But um, don't do that in this instance. Just uh, just use the paintbrush because it's a lot a lot easier. Um, and then you know you can erase like so. And that is how you make a ski hat in Photoshop. My name is Alex Cecilio. Thank you.